when I got on the scale that was literally a slap in the face because the scale said 354.2 pounds. I was in denial about my weight. I was miserable, I was hurting. I was headed toward the grave. And I just had that moment where I was like, it's enough. I have lost over 193 pounds. So I've known Eleanor for about seven to eight years now. She's seen me struggle um, with the weight. I'm really excited to show her this new body of mine. <laughs> Growing up, I um, always ate my emotions. I grew up in poverty, so all we knew was unhealthy food. So I actually had my gallbladder removed whenever I was 18 years old from my diet, from eating fatty, greasy foods. I was in denial about my weight. When I started my journey, I was 32 and I felt like I was 60. I was headed toward the grave. Just performing my job was very hard as a nurse, um, having to lift up patients and it was very hard on my back. I went to do my recertification for my CPR. I couldn't even get on my knees to demonstrate how to do CPR. When I got on the scale, that was slap in the face because the scale said 354.2 pounds. I said enough was enough. I have to do something. I cannot live my life this like this anymore. It just felt impossible to lose over, you know, 200 pounds close to it or more than that. And then I showed up at my gym after I let my body adjust and it figured out what it was doing. That first month, I had actually lost 15 pounds. And then the second month, I lost like 23 pounds. And so every month, I just kept, kept going. I kept working hard. I kept making sure I was eating healthy. I kept doing my workouts and the weight just kept falling off. In the past um, 18 months, I have lost over 193 pounds. So I work out five to six times a week. I try to aim for at least five, um, but I usually do six days a week. I got to 141 pounds in 14 months and I hated it. I hated the way I looked. So when I got back into 160s, like this is where I feel happy. This is where I feel confident. I still want to work on losing more fat. That's my focus now is on fat loss instead of weight loss in, in itself. I want to look my best and I want to feel my best. Food does not run me. I run food now. I don't eat processed foods anymore. Um, I don't eat fatty foods. I don't eat a lot of carbs. Um, so now I eat a lot of lean protein. I do high protein, um, lower carbs. So I've known Eleanor for about seven to eight years now. We loved going out to eat. When you live in Houston, you have amazing restaurants. She's seen me struggle um, with the weight, uh, with being uncomfortable. She was always concerned. And it's probably been anywhere from about nine to 12 months that we've um, got to see each other. So I'm really excited to be able to celebrate and um, hang out with Eleanor again and show her this new body of mine. My push to her was, I really don't care what you look like, I'm just more concerned about how your health is doing. I would say she has a glow to her that I have not seen in a very long time. Uh, like I said, when I opened the door, I was like, wow. Um, I'm just uh, totally taken back. It's, it's amazing. It makes me feel amazing that I can get dressed up and really look good. It came down to like really just changing my life, changing 
my habits, changing my lifestyle. I did it for me because I deserve this. Like, I deserve to be healthy. I deserve to live a life and not die at a young age. And I'm just ready to celebrate.